Yeah, so this is the final product that we're looking for. It's a 40 inch diameter, 20 inch radius window jam that is 16 inches deep. This is pretty unique. It was a really fun build. Hey guys, it's James over at Brocklemeyer Brothers. Today we'll be showing you the process of assembling these radius jams. We're going to begin on the CNC machine. We'll show you guys the program and how we draw up the actual jig that we're going to be then cutting out with the CNC. We'll take those parts and pieces that we cut out on the CNC. We'll assemble the actual jig and then we'll kind of walk you guys through the process on how we can mill up our quarter inch plywood to allow it to bend and create this unique shape. So the first step that we uh, did with this radius jig was we drew it up in our V-Carve Pro program. We did the outside of our jig. We offset that by about four inches, creating a perfect archway that's gonna allow us to build our jig. It's rigid enough to hold all the clamps that we're gonna be using for doing this final glue up. Alrighty. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. So these are the parts and pieces from the CNC machine that we're going to be building our jams with. So right now I'm just going to be cutting about 20 stretchers for our jigs. Those are the pieces that are going in between the radius faces that we've got built. Uh, so now that we got all those cut out, we're going to take them over to our pocket hole screw and machine. And uh, we're going to do four pocket holes in each of these. And that's just going to be how we fasten them to our faces for our jigs. Have you had a video of this one before? Yeah, this machine is really nice. Oh, you could imagine having to do all these by hand with a, a Craig jig. Now that we've got our stretchers cut to length and we've got our pocket holes screwed out in them, we can take them over to our arches that we cut out and we can assemble our jigs. And boom goes the dynamite. Haste makes waste. So now we're just gonna start fastening stretchers in between. These are the ones that we pocket screwed. And these ones we're gonna be lining up flush with the edge here. I'm just eyeballing the spaces in between too. We'll do one at the very top of our arch as well. So that was just the process of assembling one of our jigs. So now we're just gonna be ripping our quarter inch plywood into 16 inch strips. It's gonna create the overall width of our jam. Just a fun little tip and trick, when you're ripping big sheets of plywood, you're always gonna want the cup side of the board. You're gonna want that face down on your table. And then you're really only concerned about having the piece of plywood being flat on the table. You're not gonna be holding it level back here. We're gonna be holding it pretty high, making sure that it's riding flat on the table where the saw blade's cutting it. So as you can see here, this is kind of what I was talking about, me holding it pretty high up here, just making sure that it's riding flat on the table where the saw is cutting.
We'll take these over to the time saver and uh, sand off one side of the veneer using our 36 grit belt. With this grit belt, it allows you to take off a really good amount of material. So I'm gonna be able to take off about six hundredths of an inch at a time. We should be able to get the veneer off in probably one or two passes. Could probably do a whole separate video on just switching belts out on this thing. It can be a pain in the butt. When it comes to the other side, it's gonna just be leaving us with MDF instead of veneer. Right here, you can just see after one pass, they pretty much took off all the maple veneer and we're left with just the MDF. We're gonna spray that with water and that's gonna give us the shape of this arch. So now we'll take them over here, lay them flat, and we're gonna spray them with some water. And we'll keep these clamped for 24 hours without glue or anything, just the water. It'll help them take its shape before we do the final glue up. I didn't pace myself. Feel the burn. All righty, let's do the yellow clamps. So now that we got them sprayed down, uh, we're gonna take them over to our jig that we built. And we're just gonna slowly work our way from one side to the next, clamping it tight to our jig. Right now, we're just taking our sheets of plywood that we time saved veneer off of one side. We're gonna have the one side that's the inside of the jam is gonna be still remain finished plywood, just because that's what you'll see. Working our way from one side to the next, we're just gonna stack these guys on top, clamp it to our, our jig, helping them just keep the shape before we do final glue up. So yeah, now we're just coming through. We're clamping this far end. Evan's got his side over there flush. So this way they're not sliding back and forth as we're trying to clamp this thing. Okay. You got on this, one. this is just the prep work. It's not super crucial that we're getting everything perfect right now. This is just making sure that the boards have a chance to sit and take their shape. And you can never have enough clamps. So yeah, when we're doing our final glue up of this as well, pretty easy to get bubbles, meaning that you're just creating a space between your clamps where sometimes if you kind of get ahead of yourself and clamp too far ahead, you'll create these bubbles where your piece of plywood isn't completely tight to your jig. And then the shape of your radius piece is just going to be a little off. Nice. Well did. Yep, so now this will sit for at least 24 hours. Um, I'm just applying a little bit more moisture to it, just give it a better chance to stay in its shape. It's still gonna wanna spring out a little bit. We'll come back to this tomorrow. Uh, we'll undo all of our clamps. Uh, we'll lay our, our boards down. Uh, we'll glue the backs of them, applying just a thin layer of glue over the whole surface of them. We'll literally kinda just put them right back onto the jig and redo this whole clamping process, just with a little bit more care and a little bit more thought, making sure that everything's tight to our jig. Right now, we went a little bit quicker because uh, this is just to allow them to get their shape a little bit. The tech deck on you, do you remember those? All right, no, just kidding. Yeah, so this is the final product that we're looking for. It's a 40 inch diameter, 20 inch radius window jam that is 16 inches deep. They're pretty large windows. This is pretty unique. It was a really fun build. And thank you guys for uh, tuning in. We'll see you guys in the next video.